hey guys what is good welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is unique guys it's been forever and ever and ever and ever i have been vlogging my issue is i'm having ongoing issues with my uh camera and my insurance so i'm trying to get that sorted out and i've been really just enjoying my hiatus you know i go through moments and phases where i want to share and i don't want to share and i feel like you know it's beneficial to do both you know to share sometimes not to overshare and sometimes to just pause and just be present in my life and i've really just been enjoying my downtime but the thing with that is if i'm not careful i could just end up staying there and i know that i have a lot to offer in terms of sharing information with people and just connecting to kindred spirits anyway guys this video is long overdue this video was filmed from some of it was filmed from even august last year november december I've been waiting on my camera to be fixed to bring it to you, but I was like, you know what, it's taking forever. So let me just do it on my phone and upload it. So let's talk about me changing careers, um, kind of stepping away from education a little, a little and into aviation. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is um, why did I leave teaching to go into this or how did I get the job? Okay, so for me, there's certain things in your life that's just divinely orchestrated and my life has had my life has really had a theme of that like I just know that I'm being guided in my steps and sometimes I'll be making plans and my life will just detour me and put me on where I'm supposed to be so basically um I was at home teaching I was in my last post before I went to Guernsey I was tutoring at home doing online classes and stuff like that um I got to a point where I wasn't enjoying it anymore because the company's so new and a lot of the processes wasn't great and I just felt like I was being overworked. I wasn't enjoying being at home anymore, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I started to then scheme on a plan to kind of come out of that and to get into something else. What I didn't know. Anyway, around the time I got called for the job in Guernsey, um, they asked me to come over there to teach and I was like, perfect. Now I can make my exit. Around the same time, I had a phone call one day as well. And it was like, um, oh, we're hiring for such and such airline. Should we put you forward for an interview? And I was like, huh? I was really, really shocked because I was like, I don't, I've never really applied for this type of job. Um, my CV and my resume and stuff is online, but anything, anyone come across my CV or resume online is only going to be related to teaching, assessing, tutoring, lecturing, like that field nothing else so i was just really shocked and i thought it was like a prank and i thought to myself okay let me just go along with it so i said to the person okay then so the person put me for the interview and did the interview and smashed it um and they called me back like literally five minutes they told everybody they're going to call them the next day or the next two days the lady called me back literally five minutes after the interview like yep we want you on board blah 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 so this time I already accepted the job in Guernsey and I thought to myself, oh my God, dilemma, dilemma. And the next thing is I can't swim and being able to swim 50 meters is a requirement to, for this job. However, I tell you how life is strange and how, you know, sometimes ideas and stuff come in your mind. You just go with it, you know. I had started swimming lesson in the past and I kind of like stopped them because I couldn't commit because I was always so busy. And then I don't know, like... That, this was last year and then I woke up in 2023 and I thought to myself I want to go back and learn swimming again not for any reason but for the fact that I just think it's a life skill that we all should learn and you know when I go on holidays with my kids sometimes I want to get in the pool with them have a little play around with them and I don't ever do it because I can't swim so I thought I want to learn swimming again it, that idea just came to me in 2023 and I was like yeah I'm gonna do that so I had that in the back of my mind to do that anyway so she gave me the, they offered me the job um I've already accepted to go to Guernsey I can't swim so i'm like oh shit, this is hanging in the balance now so i was like you know what, let me just be upfront with these folks and be honest so i said to them look i can't swim i know you've offered me the job and i would love to take it but i can't swim um and they were like that's fine go learn i was like what <laughs> so i was really surprised um and they pushed me back and told me to go learn so i was like perfect so they pushed me back so i didn't have to choose between that and the job in guernsey I went to Guernsey, was doing that job, and then I started my swimming lessons from there. Then when I came back to the UK, I continued them. So yeah, that's what happened. So when I came back from Guernsey, um, we had a few more little hiccups um, because the process is quite long in terms of they do you a five 
year background check, employment check. Um, so we had like little paperwork hiccups. So in total, I had about five different start dates. So I got the job January 2023 and I didn't start my training until November 2023 because of me learning to swim and like bumps and hiccups along the way. Um, and then in the clip that you're going to see after, that's when um, August, that was in August 2023, when I went up there to do all my like medical assessments and uniform fitting and stuff like that. And then the journey started from there, from August to November, when I actually started the training, I went to London um, I rented like a room from a lady in the area and I did my training up there. Um, so I'm doing mostly short haul at the minute. So I'm not doing any stopovers, but that's completely strategic for me and where I am in my life, revolving around family, children, etc. Eventually, I will move over to long haul. But I feel like in terms of where I am right now, um, it's, it suits me and um, it's got a lot more to offer me in terms of growth and development. So I'm going to park myself here for maybe for a year and a half and then I'm going to start moving around. Um, um, eventually, I'd like to get into some training for them, do some teaching and training for them, which I've already um, applied for and stuff. So, yeah, that will be a part of my journey. So, yeah, I'm going to be sharing just little like uh, snippets with you of what happened throughout the training um, in terms of just like a kind of diary style, because I couldn't really I couldn't and I didn't really want to record like internal stuff because i feel like it's a big organization it's breach of their privacy and breach of other people's privacy and i don't want to like overstep my mark and also i don't want my channel to be centered around this new job or career because i've never really done that i've, I've always seen youtube as something external something that is like a creative outlet like a hobby slash something i like to do and then i've got my job that i earn my money and my livelihood over there and i like to keep the two separate so I did do a, f a few vlogs um, following this one, just showing you little bits and bobs, but I don't think I'm going to center a lot of vlogs around what I do in terms of my job, because I just want to, I want my YouTube channel to just be about me, like holistically me, like not just this aspect of my life, not just family, not just career. I want it to just be everything, my spiritual journey, me evolving as a woman, just everything, you know. But anyway, there's a few vlogs to follow this one. Um, and then after that, I'll go back to normal content and I will be doing lots of traveling towards the end of this year. And I'll be sharing like definitely be sharing travel and vlogs with you because I love capturing going to different places and sharing that experience with other people. So, yeah, I just wanted to quickly do a little intro and touch base with you um, before we jump into the video. And I just want to say, guys, it's never too late to learn any skill or anything like I've even just surprised myself how I went from someone who I wouldn't say necessarily can't swim because I could swim before. It's just that I had a drowning experience. Went from someone who was extremely scared of getting back in the water to like swimming now, you know. So if you're an adult and you can't swim and you've always wanted to learn, this is your sign. Go and do it. Not for any reason, but just that it's a skill. Um, I think it's a life skill that we all should have. And it's a fear or a challenge. And I think you should challenge yourself to overcome it. That's how you grow. So, um, yeah, the process wasn't easy in terms of the whole process of like the training and stuff like that. Um, one thing I would say I've taken away from this is I no longer look at cabin crews as just like, you know, people like to label them trolley dollies. or like think you're just like a waitress in the sky. No, honey, like we are trained and it's like a lot of information condensed in weeks, like you know what to do in, in a decompression. You know what to do if there's fire on board, if your pilot's incapacitated, if you have any medical procedures on, la on board. Like, you get trained for so much different things. Terrorist threat, like, just so many things. I was so overwhelmed. Um, and the course, like, the training was exams, 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 exams. Um, information, 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 information. But it was just so eye-opening and I just have a newfound respect for them because, yeah, they may dress up and they look pretty and they're serving you your drinks and food on board. But they are so much more than that and they are trained for so much more than that. So I have a new appreciation for them and what they do, or should I say for us and what we do. Anyway, guys, let's jump in the video. I hope you enjoy. Um, and then there'll be like a few little vlogs following this one just to... Just give you a little taste of what I've been doing, which isn't much. 
um, just really trying to find my feet and settle down in this new role and stuff. Anyway, without much further ado, let's jump in the video. so hey guys what is up so i have just finished my like what would i call this now my assessment um so today i had like a functionality assessment so that's where they check your height and stuff to see that you can reach the luggage compartment open the door and stuff like that so i did the functionality test and then i had to have like a medical examination where they check like you know everything your heart your lungs your eyesight um just discuss any conditions you may have then i did like uniform fitting and then i did a drug and alcohol tests and then i had to do like some hmrc documents um so i just did all of that and i am heading back home i am really really tired i had to get here for 10 something this morning quarter past 10 and it's now like quarter to two so i've been here all that time just like doing all that process i'm happy to get it out of the way my training should start in september and um look yeah like we're literally next door to the airport my training should start in september and i will be taking you guys um on the process as much as i can um with me um but I'm just happy that most like this is out of the way because this was like a huge chunk of it. Anyway, I'm really hungry and I'm tired. Um, so yeah, we'll catch up again soon. So hey guys, I'm back. So I started like trying to do a little thing this morning before training and that just didn't work. Just to show you how mad and chaotic and busy this has been. Anyway, so like what I... I don't remember what I was saying this morning. So... Um, this is week one, day two, well, the end of day two. Um, and this is where I'm staying, by the way. Um, this is my little accommodation where I'm staying. Lovely lady. Very accommodating, very mommy like in energy. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so day one, we were just going through like paperwork, formalities passport check dbs check scanning photocopy and all that stuff passwords login access to systems and stuff i'm not gonna lie i got extremely overwhelmed um to the point i went in my car and i cried a couple of times because i don't know i had a moment like what am i doing like am i being realistic do i really want to do this and i started missing my little girl because me and my little girl we have attachment issues to each other and i literally was just sobbing and i was crying and i came home that night and I was t I was texting her and I was like I don't know if I'm doing the right thing and I miss you oh bless her she spoke to me like she was the mom she was like mom it's only day one like don't quit like really try it out before you decide if it's for you or not and she was like you're the one that told me that you shouldn't block your blessings when they come and you don't get to you don't really determine when they come so she was like don't block your blessings like see where it's taking you and I was like that was so cute and encouraging but i literally was having a meltdown i don't know why and i'm usually one of the people who adjust to changes as you can see like i'm a person who will pick up and go anywhere do anything um so yeah i was super emotional but guess what girl came on my period today so there he was i weren't being a punk bitch it was all it was all my hormones playing games on me anyway so today what did we do today we're just going through like it's 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 intense guys it's intense the training is it's information overload um, and obviously especially if you're new to the aviation industry and flying there's so much to take in um, which I guess becomes second nature as you go along and you're doing the job um, a lot of it is practical as well like we have to do real life simulations we're going to go on a real plane um, we're going to have to do wet drills ditching you know all that stuff to come um, how much of it the physical uh training will i be able to share with you i don't think much because i don't want to like 
this is an organization it's their own brand it's their own company i don't want to like invade anyone's privacy or you know what i mean i just want to like do these little entry logs and share my experience with you and obviously i'm in a new area i'm in um just on the outskirts of london so like um it's near Christmas as well, so I'm going to be doing Christmas shopping and all that around here. So when I'm out and I'm just like getting food and doing stuff, I'll just do entry log and just, you know, speak about what the process is like. But I don't think I'll be able to take you along on the process with me because, you know, can't breach other people's kind of privacy or data protection, all that stuff. So, yeah, so far it's been going good. So um, it's we have to wear like business wear. They want us to do our hair uniform style. They're very strict about uniform and nails like nails you can wear red any color except for black and neon um but they like red and like french manicure but you have to have them short hair has to be tied away from the face preferably like in a bun or just away from the face um makeup up minimal um red lipstick all that stuff um so they want us to be dressing like how we would dress for uniform i don't think we get our uniform until the last two weeks where we have to actually wear it to train in um, because we're going to be practicing like doing services and stuff so yeah it's really it's cool so far but so far i'm not gonna lie i'm learning a lot um and i'm really int i've always been interested in like aviation and flying and stuff and i just feel like after this training i'll never be a normal passenger on a plane anymore like i'll see things and notice things that you know i didn't know about before so yeah so all is well so what I think I'll do, uh, guys, is just give you like little updates, like weekly of updates of, you know, whatever. And just footage in between of me going about my day and getting food and probably trying to do Christmas shopping in between and stuff. But yeah, that's all I've got to update for now. And um, I'll see you guys when I pick the camera up soon. I've got loads of free... Oh you've got exams constantly throughout this process and loads of reading so I've got loads of reading to do tonight for a practical that we're doing tomorrow so that's what I'm gonna go do now do get the reading out of the way so I can just relax and stuff and yeah I'll see you when I pick the camera up next guys good night before I need to just to come into my body because I need to like sit around for like 20 minutes doing nothing before I start getting ready it's 7.06 I start at 9 <sighs> anyway I'm just going to sit around for a bit then I'm going to start getting ready Ready guys. Yesterday they said we could wear comfy jeans, which I'm so grateful for because wearing all these smart cash every day, it's just uh, yeah, uncomfortable. Um, I need to get one of those donut things because most of the time our hair has to be tied up in buns. I don't have one, so this is the best I can do today. Anyway, I think I'm still early. Um, yay me. Check me out. It's quarter past eight. I need to get there for nine o'clock but it's literally 10 minutes down the road in the car so this is me today i've not really been wearing much makeup to be fair um i like to just give my skin the opportunity to breathe so i've just literally put on fill in my brows lip gloss a bit of mascara i was gonna put a little bit of foundation under here just to hide some of these bags you know but other than that 
Let me turn this down a bit. I forgot to say to you guys yesterday, I was meant to like talk to you about what I like and first impressions and stuff. So my first impression is what I like about my group. There's about 20 of us in this co cohort or program because there's different training programs running. Um, I like that it's uh, diverse. I like that it's mixed age um, in the group. I don't know if I mentioned this last night because I was tired, but it's like anywhere from people who's just left sixth form college, my age, a little bit younger than me and way older than me. So I really like that, that they, you know, being diverse. And also um, I like the fact that within this organization particularly, there's so much scope to grow. And as I mentioned to you guys, that's kind of my um, mindset coming into any organization is always, where's my scope to grow? Where's my scope to upskill or even go to the top? And if there isn't that, I'm out. Like, I'm not about that stagnant life. So that so far is what I like. Next week, um, I have my water drill, what I've been dreading. Um, I'm going home this weekend. Um, so I may just go to the local swimming pool and practice a little bit just to up my confidence. I know I'll be fine. But, you know, because you guys know, I started this whole swimming journey from, what, March in Guernsey? Um, I think, you know, in my mind, I'm like, oh, am I going to be okay, you know, but I think I'll be fine. I think the only thing that I'm a bit worried about is the fact that we're going to be in a deep water where you can't stand up. And most of the swimming baths I've been in, um, we've, I've not had any deep one. I could stand in all of them, even if I, even if the water comes up to here. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> I think that's for me, like once I get past that day, which is next week, Thursday, um, the rest of it I'll cruise through, the assessments, the exams, I'll cruise through that stuff. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll check in again, I'll see you soon, bye! Station way. Shout out to the moon, the moon's looking so beautiful. Hey guys, so I have finished training early today. This training is intense man can't lie so when we get these early finishes i just jump for joy anyway i went home um well where i'm staying quickly showered got changed and i am in a shopping center somewhere in west sussex i'm gonna look for primark i'm gonna get some like because i'm because i'm gonna be here more or less till this training doesn't finish until like a couple days before christmas so I'm practically gonna have to do my Christmas shopping as I go along. So I'm gonna go get some bits for my little girl. Um, I need to fill up my car with petrol because I'm going home tomorrow, Friday, which is gonna be a long, painful three and a half hours on the motorway, but I have to go down this weekend and next weekend for my daughter's birthday. So yeah, I'm rushing to Primark quickly to get a few bits and bobs and just to see what other shops they have around to scan out what else I can, you know, get for my Christmas shop. And then, fill up my car then head back let's go so it's my first time here I don't know this mall I'm just I guess I don't even know what floor this is we'll figure it out okay it says north one I don't know what that means so we're on level north one. Oh, look at this sorry if I'm looking a bit rough you know it's rough times babe it's rough times You know, just I was thinking like this Black Friday sales, like it's not cheap enough. I'm sorry, they need to do better. So we need. So we're in Primark. We're gonna look for some PJs. My baby wants some fluffy PJs, like what I've got at home. And they're so nice and warm as well. So let's see if I can find some. Guys, sorry I lost you in the shop. It was just a little chaotic. Oh my goodness, guys, I've just got home. Oh, got my little comfy PJs on. I love these. I got these for my birthday from my sister-in-law. And they're so comfy. Primark, I just got some um, in my Christmas shopping because everybody was like, yeah, it's literally so warm. Like when I wear this, like, you know when you wake up and the house is cold? 
or in the nighttime when the temperature drops like you literally don't feel it um when i wear this i literally can sleep with the blankets off so it's really good to walk around with in the daytime if you're at home so you can save energy and not burn that like your heat is out the next thing I always make sure I have is my hot water bottle like I sleep because my bed is a king size bed and when I sleep in that bed alone like it can be cold when you just get underneath it so I always just like oh, put this underneath it put it behind my back my lower back because it just feels good at the minute because I'm on my period put it under my shirt on my stomach I love it I love it anyway guys I'm going to briefly show you what I've got um I'm going to wrap them now so when I Leave training tomorrow. I'm driving home. That's gonna be a painful three and a half hours on a Friday um, during this holiday period. But what can I do? I have to go home this weekend and next weekend. So I got this in B&M. Let me restart this and let's do our little haul. Hopefully I don't post this vlog before Christmas because I'm gonna be showing you Christmas presents. So I got this wrapping paper set in B&M. It's got four in it. My tree is like silver and black and I really wanted black and silver. But I don't have the time right now. I've just got to make do because my life isn't crazy. It's got like the little, um, what do you call it, ribbons and it's got like little cards as well on there. So the fluffy PJs, I got this on my mom. I'm going to wrap that now got this one for my daughter I'm gonna wrap that now also with my daughter birthday coming up like guys when you have a December baby it costs you like it costs you so I've got to be buying birthday gifts and Christmas gift at the same time I got her too these ones are like very Christmassy and they're so cute and they They've got like little matching socks, so I'm gonna give her these for Christmas Day. This and the grey one. She had like silky pajamas on her Christmas list, so I'm gonna give it to her for her birthday. So I got her these. Um, they say j'adore on them, which I think means love in French. Um, She asked for this, which is like the ordinary skin skin set, hyaluronic acid and some other stuff. I don't know. And I've just got some other little bits for like stocking fillers for her, like face wipes, exfoliating gloves, mascara, um, shower cap. Just stuff I can put like in her Christmas stocking. Um, the rest of the bits I got for me, I just got some more tights for work. I've got this little donut thing because like with my airline we have to wear our hair tied back in a bun. And I've just got some briefs. So, you know, period panties. So you guys, I'm going to wrap these now and then I'm going to call it a night and then I'll check in with you. Um, possibly tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday so I'll just give you an overview of my week. And then we'll try to do it like that week by week. it guys so that's literally all my wrapping i would have shown you everything but i'm so terrible at it i'm pretty awful so i'm gonna pack these in the car put them under the tree when i get home and yeah my back is killing me now morning guys so it's week two, um, Monday, I, I went home for the weekend and I got back and I think I've come down with a bit of a cold because I went swimming when I was at home and I left my hair wet <clears throat> so the whole of last night I had a very bad night. Anyway, this week is all practicals, um, this morning I think we're going to be doing like, firefighting and stuff so they tell you to, you can wear jeans or a tracksuit 
you know, dress warm and comfy. Luckily, I've got my gym shoes in the car because I had Crocs on. Um, oh. So, yeah. I'm just heading there now. I don't feel 100% and the week we have practicals is the week I'm not feeling great. And not to mention it's raining non-stop. And then I'm swimming, I'm, I'm going swimming this evening just to practice treading. Me and um, one of the girls staying where I'm staying. So she's coming with me. Then I have my swimming practical on Thursday. After practicing when I went home, I feel a little bit more confident. But yeah, anyway guys, it's 8.30, I need to get there for 9 o'clock and I need to find parking, so I'm gonna run. Hello there, it's me again. So guys, I've just completed training for the day. I'm running into m &S to get some food. Guys, my life has become microwave and oven meals. <laughs> Never in my life have I had microwave and oven meals, but I'm not gonna lie, I found some really good ones in m &S that I've been really enjoying. Um, I mostly get the plant-based stuff because, yeah you know so anyway i'm gonna run into mns and just get myself a little supply to serve me uh for the rest of the week where are we we're tuesday I'm not going home this weekend either so i'm gonna need as much food as possible yikes camera's a bit fogged up because it's cold anyway let's go in there quickly sent home early today guys and it's like quarter to five and it's pitch black outside I don't know if you can see the windows look how dark that is it's not even five o'clock yet but yeah I just thought you know what I'll come home extra sleep for me because most days I'm tired I've got swimming tomorrow I don't know from yesterday a sense of calmness just came over me um and I think it helped today as well. They kind of gave me a little semi-briefing on what the drills are going to be about. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go and give it my best. I do work myself up a lot sometimes. I don't know why. Um, I feel like for me, I don't like feeling fear. I just don't like being afraid of anything. It frustrates me. And if I'm afraid of it, I feel like I have to do it. And... Um, yeah, I think that's just what it is. I don't like feeling like... I can't accomplish something like or something's too big for me to reach like when I get to that kind of feeling I always get really really frustrated um, and I'll it would just play on me play on me play on me and then I'll do it I'm just like oh my god that was fine but yeah I don't know so yeah that'll be tomorrow and I guess I'll tell you after how it went so I'm just gonna lay here, watch movies, chill, and speak to you tomorrow. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, so, ooh, let me fix you properly. Can you see me, can you see me? So, it is Thursday and it's the end of the day and Unique is still alive <laughs> So yes, I survived the wet drill. We had that today I'm not gonna tell you it was easy because it wasn't But I also like to say when people say stuff is hard, it's subjective. So don't let my ceiling be your ceiling But it was challenging. I almost drowned so Hang on there with me. I've just got in Got myself a Mackie D's because I mean after today who was gonna come home and cook not me so yeah what we had to do is swim 25 meters um, unaided so from one side of the pool to the other um, and the pool it went from like I think one meter to two meters deep so we sw we swam from the shallow end to the deep end 
no floaters no nothing no life jackets nothing um i started on my back because I, I always like being on my back. I'm more comf I'm the most comfortable on my back because I have full access to breathing. I don't get tired easy. I can even do 50 meters. I can do loads of loads of like laps on my back. But when I'm front crawling, um, I get tired easy. So that was my strategy. However, going across on my back, I think they made us go in like five at a time because everybody was so splashy 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 in the water so by the time I got close to the deep end they were splashing the water so it made my face the water came up and covered my face and went up my nostrils blocked my air pipe I started choking and doing that in the water but I quickly turned around on my belly and I was coughing coughing and I saw the security the lifeguard walking over to me to throw me the thing I was like uh-uh no sir not today she gonna save herself um so I, yeah, I um, basically just carried on and I was choking and coughing, but I, I finished the length and I came out and, you know, instructors were very kind, very supportive, very encouraging. And he was just like, yeah, well done. You know, you did it well done. The next challenge was um, treading. Guys, this is not easy. So you're treading deep water. Treading just means like you're staying still in the water. They throw you a life jacket, you have to unravel the life jacket, put it over your head, tie it, inflate it with the mouthpiece while you're treading. And bear in mind, when you're treading, you need your feet and your hands to keep you afloat. That was not easy. <laughs> that was traumatizing. <laughs> but we made it through. Um, the next thing we had to do, um, there was a, like a raft. Um, and we had to like all get on the raft and we help each other on, got out. And the next thing we had to do, we get in the pool in like groups of four or five. Then we had to huddle and link arms together and stuff. So that was the water drill. So that was, uh, this was the part of the training I was dreading because obviously you guys know that my fear of water came from my trauma. And today I face fears and I'm really proud of myself. I don't give myself enough props or grace, but well done me. Tap on the back. And then um, we did the slides. So we had to do the slides to come out of the plane. And that was it. So yeah, gonna eat my Macadies tomorrow. We have some practical assessments and then I'm off home for the weekend. Not looking forward to that M25, which is always jam packed with traffic. But you know, we move. It's my daughter's birthday on Sunday and I gotta be home. Mama gotta be there. So I'm just gonna eat this, um, sort my hair out. Probably have to wait till I get home before I wash it. And all of that jazz. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat, pack and do some revision and relax. Like, I feel like I can just cruise through the course now. The rest of it is just like lots of exams, guys. Lots of exams. I'm gonna keep stressing this again. Put some respect on cabin crew's name, yeah? Because they work hard, they train hard. It's not easy. They're not just trolley dollies. They're not just serving you food. Like they're very knowledgeable. They work very closely with the pilot in keeping everything under control and monitoring stuff. And yeah. Anyway. We'll talk again soon. Long day. Uh, got so much to do tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm starting at about, well, I'll be up about 3 a.m. We have to get to the airport to do an aircraft visit um, about four, half four in the morning. So I need to get ready from now and get in bed early. It's going to be a long day. And we've got several uh, practical assessments and exams. It's one thing with this course is exams after exam after exam. It's so overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of information and lots of different subject area. But, you know, I have a supportive trainer and a supportive group. In fact, the trainer I'm with, that I've been with for the last three weeks, I just got him something from m &S to give him tomorrow because it's his last day with us and someone else takes over. And he's just been so amazing. I feel like now I understand, because I, I'm sometimes I get imposter syndrome, like when my students make a big deal about me and saying, oh, you're so good and da 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 da, I always think like, I'm just being normal. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. Like. Not even in a modest way, literally just get imposter syndrome about it, like, I don't get it, like, I'm just doing my job. 
but now I understand it from a learner's perspective that just to have that personal, personable quality where you can really interact with many different students and make everybody feel comfortable, supported and seen. He definitely made me feel supported and seen. And he's always telling me how resilient I am. The day when I almost drowned, <laughs> he's just always encouraging me. He's always like, he know, he can see because I don't, I'm the type of person like people always say to me, you, you're so calm, you're so grounded. You will never see panic on my face. That's just how I am. But I feel like he's, he realizes that now and he can read me and he always come over and he's like, you okay? Like, don't worry. He, he knows the areas where I'm panicking and he always reassures me. I just feel like when people are good, like you always give them their flowers and let them know because we're so quick to highlight the bad in people that the good sometimes get overlooked. So anyway, long story short, I got him a little gift. I love flowers, but I like giving plants as gifts because I feel like, I don't know, they, they're just symbolic of something and they last longer and you, it's something to love, to nurture and it's something like from, you know, from my heart to yours. Um, got him a card as well, which I need to kind of write that up in a minute. But let me first get myself arranged and sorted out for tomorrow. So yeah, we need to dress warm. We need to wear trainers. I'm layering up like, cause it feels like it's about to snow outside. Outside weather is just pants. But hey, it's early December and we're in the UK. So what else do I expect? So I think I'm gonna wear my tracksuit and I'm gonna layer up. I'm gonna put leggings underneath and maybe like a turtleneck under the track. I'm just gonna layer the hell up. So yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna wear these with my Tims and just put leggings and like long sleeves under them. So yeah, I don't know, I've not got anything else interesting to share other than tomorrow's the end of week three. Anyway guys, I'm gonna finish getting myself uh, prepared for my 3 a.m. start. It's now five o'clock. So let me get my clothes in order get some food down me, pack. So when my alarm goes off, I'm just ready to just ch -ch 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 go. So I'll probably in the next clip, you'll see me when I'm out. See you soon. Hey, bloggy vlog. It's been a long day. Um, not long come home. <sighs> it was tough today. I had practical assessment, first aid practical, CPR and all that stuff. Then I had a first aid exam it was not easy and then we all had to run to the airport to collect our uniforms and i was gonna do this another day but i just looked in the group chat and a lot of people are saying their uniforms are not fitting so i need to just look to see if mine fit to know what i need to send back what i need to reorder so i've got the box here i'll show you i've got the box there so let me grab a scissors. I need a scissors. Hang on. Let me pause this. So. Let's see what we've got. If we've got everything. Because child, this Mercury retrograde. Everybody's stuff has been messing up. So. I wanted to do like a proper try on, but jumper got me coat. Let's hope that fits. Let me see if the sizing is right because I ordered a 14 in this, even though I'm usually like a 10 or 12. But when you think about all the stuff you've got on underneath, I wanted this to be big, so that's good. blazer here another blazer great stuff this is our scarf to wear with the coat <laughs> oh my goodness tell me why have i only got one shirt one white shirt and i should have five I think this is my skirt. I'm gonna assume this is my trousers because you can choose between skirt, dress, trousers, 
and I think they do jumpsuit as well. And I chose, you can pick two of them. So I, I chose skirt and trousers. Um, some people chose dress and skirts. You know, it just depends. Because I had a fit in, so I just tried on this, um, tried the items on and just went for the ones that looked mo the most flattering on me. I think these are two aprons. cardigan or a jumper which I didn't order I'm sure I ordered a <sighs> Mercury retrograde is really retrograding a lanyard two a scarf a necktie scarf thingy a torch and I don't know what this is so let's have a look oh <laughs> it's actually not bad it does fit Ooh. okay I can't believe they sent me one shirt I meant to get five Guys, I don't know when was the last time I vlogged. I don't know what I said. I don't know what I... Just bear with. <laughs> just bear with. It's, it's a lot going on right now. However, just to catch you up quickly, because I'm about to head on the motorway. I have to get to London. It is New Year's Eve and it's 12.12. 12. Love that. Let me screenshot that. Oh, my God. Can you stop? Oh, my God. Everything. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where I was or where I left off, but let me quickly catch you up. It's New Year's Eve. I'm heading to London um, because I have my first flight tomorrow. Um, I wanted to like do all the pack with me stuff with you, but I literally had to just rush because I have to come back home and do it again. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just jet out now. And then when I get up there, I'm going to go into more details with you um, just to bring you up to date with what's happening now. I've completed my training i've officially got my wings i can fly now i'm gonna be flying now I'm, I'm officially rostered um i'm gonna be my first flight i think i'm going i'm gonna um i think i'm gonna be like mostly around europe to begin with so i think my first flight i think i'm going to tenerife i'm going to malta i'm going to alicante and then i'm going to marrakesh so far but let me just quickly show you Just to show you, I've been packing um, and I've got my topper bag and stuff and it's just all over the place and it looks a mess. So let me head to London and then when I get there, I will holler back at you guys. Guys, I am in London, but when I tell you the rain have been raining, it's just disgusting. It's even taking me longer than it should take for me to get where I'm going. Um, it's rain, hailed, God knows what else. But the weather is just disgusting. Like, look at these pants. Guys, it's literally Sunday and I don't get why there's so much traffic on the road. It's ridiculous. Like, what is going on? I am bloody fuming took me forever to get here like my sat nav was just like it kept on saying 40 minutes 
and then it will just add 20 minutes on again and it's oh anyway we're here um so i'm staying i'm stopping at a hotel for tonight um so let me get let me get inside and sort out and then we'll talk literally just a basic premiere in room um that's my bag my cabin bag where is the thing that i put on there oh it's here so i've got one of um these labels for it that says crew and please do not remove from the aircraft um so that's like my thingy and my topper bag I'll, i want to go through these with you guys and just show you what i'm carrying even though I don't know if I'm carrying the right stuff yet, but anyway, we'll do that another time. So yeah, it's just a bed there, telly there. We love big mirrors and a little tea station. Yeah, it's me for the night. I won't even be here long, to be fair. I'm going to be in and out. Just kip, get up, shower, get ready. Then I'm out. Anyway, let me sort out first and then I'm going to come back when I'm sorting out my uniform. Okay guys, so I need to sort this uniform out. The blouse is like a silky kind of material. Is that telly on? Anyway. Yeah, the blouse is like a silky material and I'm really scared of burning it. So I got a steamer. I've never used a steamer before. My problem is I like gadgets. I like new gadgets and stuff. However, I hate reading instructions. Like it's just so long to me. Like. I don't know if I'm ADHD, but like just to sit and read instructions, just I can't be asked, but I always want to know how to use it and all the functions. So I think I best use it because if I don't, I'm going to like really like burn this uniform. I'll show you the shirt actually. So that's the shirt. It's quite creased up, but if you see the material is like, it's like, what's that? Satin? I would say it's satiny. Um, so, yeah. I actually don't know how it works. It's working guys, it's actually working. This steamer thing's quite good actually. So just hold. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I realise it works when I do it this way, so I just hold, because it's literally just the steam of the water, isn't it? So I just hold it right next to the garms, and all the creases are going. And I've been hearing everybody complaining that they've tried to iron this, and can't get the creases out, so I think I've done well investing in this steamer. I love it. At least I know I won't burn this stuff up, because give me an iron, I guarantee you. I will burn this, I know me. I've never liked ironing. That's one thing I've never liked to do. And that's one thing my mum loves to do. My mum irons her bed sheet, which I think is fascinating. She irons her bed sheets. And ironing is something I've never enjoyed. I'll cook, I'll clean, but, uh-uh. I think this one with the water that's in there, it gives you, it's fogging up the camera. It gives you 10 minutes of steam and then you fill it up and like do it again. Cause this is the only like a travel size one I've got. They've got bigger ones, but this one's perfect. Cause I can take this one in my suitcase. So if I have a layover and obviously like my spare uniforms are going to be in my bag. Obviously they're going to be creased up. This is like a good little fix. I think, I think I just need to get actually a universal uh, plug adapter thing because this is like obviously UK 
So I need to get a universal one, yeah, because there's no point of having a steam and I can't plug it in, eh? Yes, honey, yes, we crease free, baby. So there we go guys i've used the steamer and it was successful i quite like it i like it over the over iron to be honest so that's me look we are crease free honey crease free the last um screw off my camera just broke so i don't know if i'm gonna even be able to film tomorrow i'm gonna try but after this i'm gonna have to go send this camera off to get fixed or replaced 